would someone run 50 miles in one day? A Johnson County woman is doing it for the third time, but this time it's not just about the adrenaline rush. Sloan Heller is in the newsroom with uh, this amazing story. Sloan, when you told me about it, I was stunned. 50 miles. I know. I can barely wrap my head around running a half marathon, let alone what's called an ultra marathon. That's 50 miles. Um, but Courtney, she goes by Muffy, says she just loves the rush, and she also loves spending time with other people throughout this day-long race. Now, this year, she actually decided to raise the stakes. She's calling her run 50 miles for 50 soldiers. So all the money that she raises is going to go toward gift cards for soldiers in the Wounded Warrior Transition Program. That's in El Paso, Texas. Right now, there are more than 300 soldiers in the program who are back from Iraq, and Mafi really wants to give a gift to as many of those soldiers as she can. But she's also hoping her run will encourage other people to do what they really love to do. I just think what our soldiers did for our country is allows us to do, you know, what we want to do. And, and some people just kind of sit back and, you know, mediocre life. But I think, you know, our, the soldiers have fought for our freedom. So why live a mediocre life when you can just, you know, go out and do what you want to and, and experience things? Now, an interesting tidbit, you, you can see her right there. That was her running last year. Um, she went through, get this, all four of her running shoes during that 11-hour race. Now, she does stop to eat a couple of times, but when she does, she actually has to maintain a light jog and keep stretching. Uh, again, last year, her time was 11 hours, 18 minutes, and 37 seconds. If you want to sponsor Muffy, we have all the information on our website, NBCActionNews.com. We're in the newsroom this morning. Sloan Heller, NBC Action News Today.